That's why we would like the cabinet, we would like the constitution to be changed so that cabinet secretaries should be uh, appointed through parliament, from mm -hmm. parliament. They are answerable. Like in Okichuka, my Varanga, Kuku, Kama, Wengina, Juangalia, Wengina, they have become billionaires. Look at Murkomen. Murkomen is wearing a watch. Muliona Juzi. How many millions? Where did he get that money from? What is happening with parastatals? What is happening with employment in this country? Is Kalanjin's one side? Kikuyu's the other side. Is that incitement? Let us do the audit and find out people have been appointed, even in parastatals. Wakitaka Srikaliya, Wakai Nayo. It's time we demarcate this country. The constitution allows us to hold a referendum so that we can have a state within ourselves, self-determination. And I echo the words of Mwangi Wairia. Some of us are very experienced, very educated. We advise other governments outside. When we come in our own country, we are relegated. Alafu wanataka menibia kura. Because I go... having mheshimiwa hapa uh, George Wajakoya na pia Eric Komondi wako pamoja anyway Wajakoya umetoka all the way from Jamaica pengine you can let us know ulikuwa pale kwa shughuli gani kwanza thank you very much members of the press and i hope Eric Komondi will not be arrested <laughs> no, because won't. every time he's on press watu wanashika shika yeye wanashika maina njenga that is going to stop i left this country for qatar from qatar i went to san francisco that was 15 hours flight from there, I went to Phoenix. From Phoenix, I went to uh, Jamaica, where I was for two days, at the invitation of Richie Spice. And then from Jamaica, I went to uh, San Francisco. From San Francisco, I went to Hawaii, Maui. Then from Maui, I came back to London. I spent two days in London, and then I'm here. So the journey was very okay. And I'm so glad with the, what the media is doing in this country. The fourth estate, you are the only people who are making sense because you are bringing issues. And to people like um, Eric Omondi, Eric Omondi has become the new kingpin, the new kingpin of our generation, your generation. Mine is a bit backward. And it's this kind of people that we need to hand over power because we have had a lot of... Uh, uh, same people, same hegemony from independence. Ni hao hao tu, kila wakati, hao ndi watalete maendeleo. Kila wakati ni hao. Ala saizi ukiwana hizo mesa zote zimejaa, ni hao tu. We need to replace them. Mm -hmm. But much gratitude goes to Raila Amolo Dinga for having been very consistent, consistent. His mind is fresh, his ideas are fresh. It's only that every time he stands for election, they steal his election. Mm -hmm. They steal Raila's election every time. Mm -hmm. And I'm also thankful to the Republic of Niger. I'm very glad that Niger, uh, Mali, um, Gabon, and uh, Burkina Faso has brought in a new trend of politics. I thank the Russians. I thank the Russians and the Chinese. I didn't like the Chinese before, but I think I'm going to make uh, some kind of inroads. The transitional period in African politics is what we need. We are tired of the same goons, same people, same... Why would you be arresting a young man like this one, who has never even stolen chicken? Kila wakati eri komondi ya kisimama, munashika e, munapiga e. The constitution guarantees his liberties. People like Maina Jenga, you've arrested this man, umepereka e kotini, bado natuma polisi kwa enda kushika e. Now they are here listening, the NSIS. I'm telling you, your time, is, your time has come. You should know that you are frustrating your own country people. And to Raila Amolo Dinga, we need to make sure that our barber is not reflective of the old generic generation. Baba's mind is very fresh, like in Kuna Watu and Amtumia. Kuna Watu and Amtumia Baba as a ladder. Already they are planning Baba's transition before he dies. Kuna Watu Palo and Ataka Teo, who is Baba going to support? Eh, wako pale tu because wanataka waingie kwa mguu ya baba. How do you inherit ODM? Huyo ndio mama ya baba. Leave alone uh, mama Ida. Why do you want now to come in? And we are going to reveal this when the right time comes. Those goons who are sitting around baba, waja niwaambie your time is up. We have the likes of Eric Omondi who actually can help baba. And for the MP, the, the, the MP who has, who has actually been, uh, those MPs who have been kicked out of ODM, who are resigned leo, Namimi mimi support Eric Omondi for Langata. Mm -hmm. okay.
Okay, Eric Momondi has been preaching about a revolution. Amekuwa kifanya maandamano here and there because of the current government. Does it mean that you've joined him uh, to push about this revolution? Well, Eric Momondi is doing what we have been doing. Mm. Eric Momondi is doing what Baba has been doing. Mm. If we say that we join Eric, we shall be insulting Baba. Yes. We are doing what Eric Baba joining. has set. And now Eric is taking joining. the right path. Mm. And that's why the Raelo Dinga family loves Eric, because they can see he's a young blood. He's young blood. He's a, um, a go-getter. He fears nothing. How many times have they arrested this young man? And whenever they arrest him, they torture him. They put him in Land Rovers. Why in modern Kenya? Why are we having this dictatorial, dictatorial regime kind of uh, agitation? Why, what's wrong with Ruto's government? We thought we left these things long time ago. Uh, the other day, Gashago was being arrested. Yes, that was wrong. He was taken to court. Yes, he went to defend himself. Now, <laughs> Mayana Jenga was arrested. And outside there, they are still arresting him, beating him up, torturing him. And then the same, same Gachagua has flown to Colombia, wherever it was. Was it Colombia? Or, uh, well, yeah. Has he seen how things work there? Why do you put police on the streets? I was a policeman. So what? Why do you use the police? Why do you ban people like me from going to Mount Kenya? You're just spreading my message. If I run for election today, Baba is still alive, but I'm just saying, supposing I was run for president, me and Gashagwa, I'll defeat him in Mount Kenya very early in the morning because he's interfering with my supporters. He's telling people not to work with me. Now, uko America, Natembea, and I'm a president. Uko Jamaica, Napewa, red carpet. Eh? When I go to the, to the UK, I'm given red carpet. It's only in this country where I've got people who have no moral hygiene. Hawana moral hygiene, Hawana morality. I think when Gashago was a district officer, I was an intelligence officer. And of course, the mentality of district officers, because if somebody can come from there and behave the way this man is behaving, look at what is happening between them and Moses Kuria. Moses Kuria is insane. Why do you tell Kenyans, Kwenda Ujimbe Ni, eh, you are on rail, and he's still a cabinet secretary, and the president has not said anything? Why should Gachagua say that we have uh, tigers. Uh, tigers in Kenya? Lying! A whole man, like, if he was in the U.S., he should, be, have, he should have been uh, impeached. I want Gachagua to resign for telling lies about this country. I want Moses Kuria to go yesterday. I want Ndindi Nyoro Kwenda Kabisa. Eh, tunataka hii watu wa kwende wa kwende wanatusumbua nini sasa angalia hii mazungumzo kila siku namna hii namna hii na kuna wale betrayers wa baba tumewajua wanakaa tu karibu na baba wakichukua tu vitu hivi Raila is a very smart man he knows what is going on why would we why should we be having this monolithic mangus eh? watu ambao <laughs> banana akili yao imeenda mbinguni sijui kwa shetani huko okay eh? uh, it has been a tough uh, time especially when it comes to economy in our country. Uh, as we speak, Mafuta imepanda, and I read somewhere, ilinasemekana itaendelea kupanda. As a leader, what are your views on that? I think the people who elected these people should face the route. As Eric said recently, imambe ya mandamano, sasa wacha wa inainji wenye wa ichukue. Because if you go to Uganda, how much is a litre of petrol? Uganda, and then they import oil from Kenya, through Kenya, pipeline, taxes, kila kitu, na oil yao iko chini. Tanzania pia iko namna hivyo. I love Kenya and Nanda. The other day we made some kind of demonstration or karudisha kidogo. Wale watu wa EPZ, those stupid clerks in EPZ, where do they get the monotony or monopoly of increasing prices of fuel? Who gives them that, that order? When I say at world order, we may end up even at Melita to pick a picket wing in a juicy at electric. Here's it, I end up. Let this government stop mocking with the, with the people of this republic. Look at what is happening in West Africa. It is coming here very soon. I don't know what we should do. And that's why I'm welcoming the Russians and the Chinese. For the first time, um, colonial mentality. What okay? Why is BP, why, why are the French companies, the French companies, the owners of Total, not talking about it? Why are the French exploiting everywhere they go? I'm also asking the French to leave this country. Mm -hmm. We have had enough of them. We are talking our end of the And if they don't go, time will come when we shall go and remove them forcefully. Mm -hmm. Professor.
uh, recently you said in a statement that President Ruto is running the government in a pata potea manner. Do you think he has the skills to run this government? Not at all. He has failed. If I was the president, I'll take it easy like Kibaki. I'll make things run. When you go and take people who are not qualified to, to help you run the government. Eh? Alisema Mama Mboga. Kuna Mama Mboga kwa hiyo cabinet. Labda ni Alice. Alice, anaitu Alice. Kwa hume. Kwa hume, huyo ndiyo Mama Mboga yake. Mm. Alianda kasema sijui boda boda. Eh, hey, ndindi nyoro ndiyo boda boda fari. Watu kama hao, what do you expect? People who cannot reason. People who have never seen anything. People who have no experience. That's why we like the cabinet. We like the constitution to be changed. So that cabinet secretaries should be uh, appointed through parliament, from mm -hmm. parliament. They are all answerable. Like you know, you can see how many people are here. They have become billionaires. Look at Murkomen. Murkomen is wearing a watch. Muliona Juzi. How many millions? Where did he get that money from? What is happening with parastatals? What is happening with employment in this country? Is Kalanjin's one side? Kikuyu's the other side. Is that incitement? Let us do the audit and find out people have been appointed, even in parastatals. Wakitaka sirikaliyaya wakaya nayo. It's time we demarcate this country. The constitution allows us to hold a referendum so that we can have a state within ourselves, self-determination. And I echo the words of Mwangi Wairia. Some of us are very experienced, very educated. We advise other governments outside. When we come in our own country, we are relegated. Alafu wanataka menibia kura, because I got 2.8 million. Wakaiba, wakaiba, alafu nataka mi niende nil before Ruto niombe kazi. Am I crazy? Gentlemen of the press, I have principles and I go by them. And that's why I like this young man, Eric. Eric's principle has attracted Babas, has attracted me, and has me on leadership. We are looking at him and saying, now, let us unite as a team and put him up there as one candidate, formidable candidate. Instead of putting this candidate, that candidate, we want to put Eric Komondo there. Na hiyo itaingia. Let them call for elections. He's the next MP for Langata. I'm not campaigning for him because I like him, but I like his resilience. I like his persona. I like his integral kind of agitation. I like the way he goes to parliament. And in this country, unless they arrest you, mock you, put you inside, you can't become a leader. That is the trend. For us, we have been arrested before during Moist time. We were detained. I went into exile for all these years. I matured. So we are not afraid of being arrested. We are not even afraid of being shot. We are not even afraid of anything. Ruto should do the right thing. He must do the right thing. Otherwise, he's isolating his own challenges. And they must be careful of Gachagua. Why is Gachagua making sure that leaders from other tribes cannot go to Mount Kenya? Because he's afraid. Let me go with Gachagua to Nyeri tomorrow. You will see that Nutagua na watu wengi kumshinda. Si ati ni watu wa bangi. Yeah, na nita muti ya bangi. Mi ni kicha. I'm doing my second PhD now. My 14th law degree. Am I crazy? Let these people go somewhere. Maybe I give you a chance now. Okay, maybe before you give uh, him a chance, it's been a while since we saw uh, Azimio Manda Mano that was going on. Uh, it was called off Elisha. Uh, does it mean maybe Azimio and the government, they're trying to talk and come up to uh, something like a handshake or something? Manda Mano is Aisha. Na hita Aisha. Na hiko kila siku. Wache wakaye pali wakidanganya watu. You know the thing they are fooling with us? Oh, wacha tufanya hivi, hii eh, climatic or conference ipite, namna hii, wengine. Why is Gachagua saying that they should not count the votes? Well, look at what happened in Gabon. That motherfucker, I'm sorry to say like this, eh, who was overthrown recently, had only 11%. The, the army went and opened those servers. We don't want that to be the situation here. But I can assure you that if those servers are opened, Raila will be number one, and my 2.8 million votes will be there. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't you think maybe we should not be talking about the votes right now? We should be talking about uh, the way forward in the country because we are not doing that. Yo. Wewe kama umeiba bibi ya mtu. Alafu <laughs> uh, bibi ya kuje na mtoto mimba iko huko ndani. Utasema tuache kwanza mtoto azaliwe and tuende. You must defend what is yes. your own, right? <laughs> Very important. Uh, maybe the other day we saw the Nairobi governor, that's Johnson Sakaja, and Babu, you know, engaging in an online fight. Uh, netizens are not happy about that. And uh, they they went ahead speaking about things like liposuction and them smoking weed. Uh, also, that maybe what can you comment on that? Smoking weed is legitimate. <laughs> it's only a white man who came and told you, smoke nicotine, eh, smoke zile masigara zingine, 
Wacha hii. Kunywa pombe, kunywa ile mawiski. What's wrong with smoking weed? It's only people who are insane who are saying at ukikunywa hiyo eh utakuwa wazimu. Na watoto wakubwa kwanza ni mawazimu juu ya cocaine, right or wrong? Our grandfathers have been smoking weed for a long time. It's medicinal. People don't just understand the logic behind it. In America, they have even passed a constitution. Unaenda pale unafinyua kuna smoking zone. Let people smoke weed. What's wrong with that? Let it actually be used for manufacturing for medication and for what have you like now this watch you see here this is fiber because of this fiber it makes this watch to be 11 million because of the fiber because of the fiber now if you look at the ship you look at the planes the drones they're all made out of fiber which which one which is one of the byproducts canada last year alone got 484 billion us dollars out of fiber which comes from China grew 165,000 acres of weed. They got 3 trillion in the first harvest. 1.5 trillion was lent to Kenya to build this highway. Alafa hapa tunalala tu ateye ni mbaya munaenda kwa Kristo siju munapanya nini. Even in Israel, even Jesus smoked weed. Go and read the book of Deuteronomy. Read the book of Ezekiel 39. So my Biblia ujua kwa mba, weed is legal in Israel where Jesus was born. It's used during baptism. Alafu hapa wanakuja mzungu alikuja hapa na sema ati hii ni mbaya hii ni mzuri. Alafu anatuibia. Alafu they make it legal. Pharmaceuticals use it. They produce it from where? Is Museveni mad to legalize it? Is South Africa mad? Is Zimbabwe mad? Is Rwanda mad? Is Holland mad? Is America mad? Is Britain mad? Is Denmark mad? Why do they have it? It's only in Kenya where things happen this way. They can pass LGBT. Mwanaume alale na mwingine. Hiyo is good to them. Lakini weed which has been there which helped our grandfather, our grandfathers and treated them for many years before colonialism, which also helped the Mau Mau's to, to restrain the cold environment. Watu tunalala, hii ni pesa. Kama ningekuwa president sasa hizi galana gulalu ingekuwa imepandwa na tume tume harvest because it's only 4 months. Kila mtu angekuwa na magunia ngapi ya banki? Gunia moja 50 kg kwa New York Stock Exchange. It's 302 million US dollars. Sasa ukiwa na hiyo gunia moja tu na hiyo pesa uwezi kujenga kanisa yako uwezi kujenga baa yako eh uwezi kujenga shule yako alafu hapo nakuta wengine wanakaa huko ati eh na wenye wanakaa ni wale mapastors unaona state house kila siku na matumbo kubwa wamebeba bahasha eh morality and religion in this country okay, Ala. So, uh, the last question talking about the Nairobi county uh, leadership recently we saw uh, Babu Owino mm -hmm. blasting uh, Sakaja over the, the the way he runs this government or rather the, the county. Do you feel maybe Bible we know uh, is planning to vie for the gubernatorial seat the next general election? It's uh, within his right to run for the seat and I'll support him. If Tim Onyonyi runs, I'll support Even if this young man runs, which I'll support. But let's leave that aside. Sakaja has failed. Mm -hmm. We have people who are sacked. Was it Kims? Mm -hmm. yes. eh? He sacked those people he never paid them. Nairobi County has become very filthy. Sakaja is very, very proud man. When, when uh, Gachagua was abusing Gachagua, I took the cross on behalf of uh, Sakaja to tell of, to tell of uh, Nini, Gachagua. Did he ever even call me to say what? That guy is very proud, and that pride ndiyo itafanya atakua one-term governor. Na ajua kwamba nimesema. Na mini kisema, niko na spirit. Nikama ya raila. He's a one-term governor, so Babu is right. You also mentioned somewhere uh, on Twitter that uh, President Ruto is also a one-time president. Well, he is if he doesn't change. And also if he doesn't open the, the server, he's not the president. Unless he opens the server, then we shall decide to say, we shall think of whether he will be a one-term president or not. After opening the server, fungua server, kama uli win, bas, tutaongea mambu ingine. But if you do not win and then you stole the election, well, and gentlemen of the press, I have so much experience. I've lived in exile for so many years. I've been in Britain for many years, in the US for so many years. I practice in those two countries. Dictators don't last long. I met Mobutu son in London yesterday. He's so poor. Mpaka nikashanga. Hii ni nini? Wakae wakijua, they are temporary. They can kill, they can do what have you, but when their time comes, angalia uhuru yiko hapi. Who knew that uhuru would shake my hand after all this? But would you have shaken my hand before that? Ruto, ajua kwamba presidency is temporary. Afanye kazi yake, 
afungue saba kwanza akisha afungua saba nini lakini imam ya kutichezea kama azimio eh fanya hivi fanya hivi eh twingine i mean where is the legitimacy when the president says something gashagwa anapinga eh kama imam ya, ya azimio hii gashagwa badala ya hao kungojea matokeo ya mazungumzo gashagwa wako tu nini kila mahali president anaenda gashagwa yuko pale what is he afraid of does he want ruto to die so that he takes over why can't he stand firm and do what is required to do by law as a deputy president of this country why must he be following ruto why can't he come to kakamega alone why can't he go to nyanza alone why can't he go to mombasa alone awache kufuata fuata president afanye kazi yake i don't hate kachagwa but i'm telling him that the trend which is creating is bad for our generation it will mean we shall fight in this country our generations will fight in this country people like you who are not paid well the media nobody is talking about you when you go to the US the media is highly paid and recognized hapa mtu akifungua radio station wewe unaenda hata hakuta pesa mnapewa i am sure some of you just came here on your, on your own so we need legitimacy we need people to look at things the way they are and i'm warning this country they can arrest me here uh, who cares but i'm telling them and i'm warning the police as well mwanza kuchika shika watu mnawapeleka kwa nyumba mna blindfold your day will come wale mtu alikuwa anataka kuua baba ako wapi spirit ya baba si imefanya jamaa miguu imevunjika hapo hospitali si baba alienda kumuona mjadhari because nyinyi mnashika watu watoto wenyu wakienda shule wanaanguka mtiani hiyo pesa ya bribery mkichukua mkinunua ngombe haitoi maziwa unafurafura tumbo kama maskini fanya kazi yako kama polisi Asante. Maybe on economy before we finish some people are suggesting that we should maybe reduce the rate at which uh, our parents are giving birth to reduce mtoto apate mmoja what is the future of this country? Maybe as copy the Chinese single child policy. Ni chana ukienda huko uone mrefu mrembo uweke mimba unaenda chana. Lazima wewe uoe na upate mtoto mmoja. Maybe that's what they want. Mimi mimi nikipara dem nikioa second wife nataka kuzaa kila kitu. Si ati kwani naenda kuchunga chunga nini? Maybe that's what they are up to. Lakini like si You tell me those guys how many kids do they have with women outside there? Many. Eh? Wamezaa kama kuku. Wengine miguu inakaa namna hii kama vyura. Alafu anaanza kuambia watu hivi. Wenyewe wanakula mzuri. Unafikia hawa watu wako na njaa? Hawa watu wanakula mzuri sana lakini they bring policies that have no foundation. They don't want to be inclusive. They don't want us to give them ideas. Sasa kuna wengine hawa kat hata mimi ukiniuliza minister for, for ugali mimi si wajui ni watu wengine waliokotwa tu at minister sasa angalia vile wanapigana kama wavome na PS angalia ministry of immigration PS nini nini huko chini angalia ministry of uh, uh, power energy kuanzia juu paka chini zini kala chini paka port authority kwani watu wengine hawako gentlemen and ladies i don't know whether i'm crazy but if i'm crazy take me to the pope to pray for me but that's the truth Right. Nice. 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 Nice.